Good morning, guys, and God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Man, this hat always be tripping me out. <laughs> um, but I'm on location today. It's a hot one today. I think we're already like at 100, 100 degrees, and it's barely like 10, 10 a.m. But um, I wanted to do this quick video on how uh, I go about cleaning my door panels. Um, I know everybody does it a little bit differently, um, but hopefully my way kind of helped you out. Uh, what I'm going to be using today is obviously a uh, Vortex air tool. I'm also going to be using a uh, Harbor Freight steamer by Central Machinery. Uh, as always, you guys already know the Serrano sauce. And I'm also going to be using a horse hair brush uh, purchased locally and a um, the Viking uh, bristle brushes from O'Reilly. So uh, these products are all locally. You can find them at a janitor store you can find them at a carpet supply store uh, you can find them at Walmart um, especially these here locally um, Harbor Freight you already guys know under a hundred dollars you can get the job done if you're just starting out I highly recommend the Harbor Freight uh, I've been going on two years and it's still going strong uh, this vortex air tool you can find it on Amazon under uh, vortex air tool gun uh, and the Serrano saws you can find the video on here as well on how to make it all right so first step I'm gonna be doing is I usually blow everything first so go ahead and uh, maybe bring the volume down a little bit hopefully it's not too loud uh, but here we go all right after I blow everything I'll come with the Serrano sauce And I'll spray everything real quickly. I'll grab my horse hair brush. All right. I want to show you guys that APC doesn't stain your plastics if you dilute it. Um, then we will brush. The horse hair brush is very gentle for plastics and your leather. Um, there's one reason I like to use horse hair brushes. Your, this bristle right here, always get the back of the door handles. Scrub your buttons real good. Inside of these pockets, all the way in there. All right, next up, I hit it with steam. And lastly, I will blow it all out and then dry it off with my towel. So, also, if you have these little um, vents here, you can brush them with your horsehair brush, and then you can usually use your Vortex air tool and it'll take care of it. So, here we go. That's a little bit better. So we'll blow everything out. But I'll bring you guys in so you can see how it looks. Again, there's many ways to do this. Everybody does it differently, guys. But this way has always helped me for years. All right, and then let me show you a little bit how I would do the vents. I've already scrubbed this, so then you just come back with your vortex. And just blow all the holes out real good. And that's it, guys. So let me flip the camera over, and uh, I'll bring you guys in. All right, so this is the finished product everything has been scrubbed down really good all right all the buttons those are still drying obviously you can grab your vortex air tool and bam there you go got all inside your little pockets all the way in there and then we'll come back and obviously dress all your door panels um, but that's 
that's a little bit of how I go about handling door panels, guys. Um, so hopefully this kind of helped you guys out, maybe lead you a different way. Um, again, this is not the best way. This is the best way that I know how to do it. And, you know, it produces amazing results as always. So uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. God bless y'all, and we'll see y'all next time.